गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू वाई सी एस सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल सोरमोर सुल्तानपुर डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वर्ब्स फाइनाइट वर्ब एंड इनफाइनाइट वर्ब ओके फाइनाइट एंड इनफाइनाइट वर्ब्स okay here what is finite and what is non finite verbs finite verbs means that works in a sentence that works in a sentence it means action word action word action word means playing going sleeping jumping sleeping it is see so when the verbs when the verb does any action any work with the subject directly it means known as finite verb known as finite verb it means he plays he plays well here in the sentence plays is a finite verb plays is a finite verb here he is subject and it does a work it does a work and what works play so it is a finite verb when the verbs makes the important role in a sentence makes the important role in the sentence so the action word is known as finite verb okay now here i am suggesting you all i am suggesting you all here i am is a verb and suggesting is a verb and here the main verb is a suggesting and it is helping verb okay i am is helping verb and suggesting is a main verb and sometime you have seen there is no any finite verb in the verb in the sentence it means like i am your friend i am your friend here in this sentence there is no any finite verb but here is a verb here is a verb i am so i am is a head verb i am is a head verb it means you can say ki here it is a verb and it is using here like a main verb okay here using i am is a main verb like main verb but there is no any finite verb it means play go sleep write sleep jump etc so these verbs are known as finite verb known as finite verb when the verbs when the verbs used in the sentence to make to make the action directly to make the action and its sense directly so those verbs are known as finite verb but there are some other verbs but there are some other words known as non finite verb okay it means here non finite verb non finite verb okay what is non finite verb when some verbs using in the sentence but gives no sense of directly in the sentence which gives which doesn't give the main sense in the sentence so those verbs are known as non finite verb here dear students now i am going to define ki what kinds of verbs what kinds of verb known as non finite verb known as non finite verb yes now look here 
non finite verbs are different kinds first participle participle second gerund and third infinitive dear students these verbs are known as non finite verb but they are used in the sentence to makes the different kinds of sense but here these verbs doesn't give you the main sense the main sense in the sentence like here participle participles are three types participles are three types present past and perfect perfect these are three types of participle present participle past participle and perfect participle okay and gerund verb plus ing verb plus ing when gives the sense of noun when gives the sense of noun the verbs using with ing form and give the sense of noun it means subject so known as gerund okay and infinitive here infinitive before the main verb before the main verb play when you are using to when you are using to to play to go to write these verbs also gives the sense of noun also gives the sense of noun and these verbs also used like gerund like gerund so these two verbs gerund and infinitive gerund and infinitive verbs also used in the sentence as a noun as a subject and participle what is participle when the verbs gives the sense of both gives the sense of both it means adjective and as well as verb adjective and as well as verbs so known as participle when the verbs gives the both sense adjective and as well as verbs known as participle okay for example i saw him i saw him running here in this sentence i saw him running in hindi meaning maine use daudte hue dekha maine use daudte hue dekha dear student here in this sentence now you can understand ki the running word the running word giving you both sense adjective adjective means adjective of object yani him him ke क्वालिटी को यहां पर एक्सप्रेस कर रहा है उसके एडजेक्टिव को उसके गुण को शो कर रहा है और साथ ही साथ वर्ब यानी क्रिया के भी सेंस को रिलेट कर रहा है सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि दिस वर्ड रनिंग इज अ पार्टिसिपल रनिंग इज अ पार्टिसिपल आई सा हिम रनिंग मैंने उसे जाते हुए देखा इट मीन्स आई सा पर्सन आई सा मैन मैंने एक आदमी को देखा एंड द मैन हु आज इन Which condition? The man was in running condition, so it can be said that running the person who was in running condition, and as well as you can understand, you can you can think that here is giving the giving the quality, giving the adjective word of him running, and as well as giving its quality. to make its the condition which was in running position so here you can say that the running is a participle the running is a participle and something 
another way here he saw a tired man he saw a tired man here in this sentence you can see that here the main verb is saw the main verb is saw it means the saw is finite verb saw is finite verb here it is finite finite verb and here you can also see that this is finite verb but here running is participle running is participle and here sa participle uh, sa finite verb and a tired man it it is the third form of the verb it is the third form of the verb tired tired the first form and its past form it means the third form tired thake hue aadmi ko he is a tired man usne ek thake hue aadmi ko dekha to here you can understand that this word is known as participle but here which kinds of participle this is past participle what i have told you before here these are three types present past and perfect and what is perfect participle now i am going to express it here once more the third participle it means perfect participle the perfect participle now see having having finished the game having finished the game having finished the game the players the players went to went to their homes here in the sentence now you can see ki having finished it means what kinds of method we apply in the perfect participle in the perfect participle we use we use having having plus third form of the verb in the perfect participle we use having plus third form of the verb and it is known as it is known as perfect participle when the first action has been done it means the action which is done before that is uh, known as perfect participle and after that we take second verb ya yeah, second up second action okay now now in the sentence having finished the game it means before before going home the players finish the game so here you can see ki the first action has been done the first action has been done it means finishing the game in having finished the game the players the players went to their homes khiladi apne apne ghar gaye now you can see yeah, you can understand that having plus finished it means having plus third form of the verb it is known as the perfect participle okay now i hope that you are understanding it well now the second thing now i will talk about gerund what is gerund the second thing gerund 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 is a form of verb gerund is a form of verb used in the sentence as a noun used in a sentence as a noun it means as a subject for example for example playing playing is good for health playing is good for health here playing you can understand that it is the form of verb it is the form of verb it means play plus ing play 
plus ing form used here in playing playing is good exercise now here the word playing is used as noun as subject playing is good for health khelna स्वास्थ्य के लिए अच्छा होता है खेलना स्वास्थ्य के लिए अच्छा होता है तो यहां पर हियर इट इन हिंदी यू कैन टेक द सेंस ऑफ ना जब कभी इंग्लिश वर्ड की हिंदी मीनिंग ना के रूप में आए और उसे हम सब्जेक्ट के रूप में यूज करें यानी नाउन के रूप में यूज करें तो ऐसे वर्ब को हम झिरंड का रूप देते हैं यानी ऐसे वर्ब झिरंड कहलाते हैं इट मीन्स Now you can take any other kinds of verb playing, smoking, drinking. Now such kinds of verb when you are using before in the sentence and you are making it noun, you are making it subject. So these verbs are known as gerund. Okay. Smoking is injurious to health. Now another sentence: Smoking is. Injurious to health. Smoking is injurious to health. Here, smoking word is a gerund, and using here as a noun, as a subject. Smoking is injurious to health. Dhumra pan karna, swasth ke liye hani karak hota hai ya nuksan de hota hai. now dear students i move to another topic here the related topic is infinitive verb okay infinitive infinitive verb when before the finite verb using using to to play to go to run and also dear students the infinitive verbs also gives the sense of noun or subject and you can use it you can use it as noun as subject like to write to write a letter to write a letter to write a letter will be good for you for you to write a letter to write a letter will be good for you aapke liye ek patr likhna acha hoga patr likhna aapke liye acha hoga to here the hindi sense of to write likhna and also now you can see that this word is giving the sense of just like jiran playing khelna going jana to write likhna to play khelna to go jana so you can use the infinitive verb just like jirand so i hope that you will have to understand it better thank you all of you have a nice day